Hi everyone, I am Luis and first of all I would like to thank all of those who have made this conference possible. The communication that I'm going to bring to you today it's about video games as a form of youth leisure, mainly about socialization practices and self-perception among young university students. It is a work that I've been developing with my students last few semesters. Um, as an introduction, um, and as we already know, technology as an object of study inevitably um, brings a set of underlying methodological and uh, theoretical issues, and uh, the analysis of video games is beginning to prove to be a very useful tool for understanding these new online spaces. So at this point, um, we can affirm that a multitude of traits and social constructions of students converge in hyperspace, as well as in the forms of leisure and self-perception of themselves. So what is this self-perception? So self-perception uh, can be defined as a set of evaluations that an individual has about himself in a given field and at a given time. Uh, it also uh, refers, or more specifically, it refers to these beliefs, attitudes, desires, values, and expectations that individuals have within the outside world that transforms that inner world. So this formation or the formation of personal judgments, values, and opinions is influenced by this self-perception is determined by this self-perception so, so the main goal of my of my work or these main objectives are to understand these processes of personal significance and resignification and the implications that video games have or have had all along the the lives of university students uh specifically i want to understand to what extent this type of entertainment helps define how they perceive themselves and at the same time understand how it influences or has influenced their life history and development as an individuals and their relationship with their environment so i decided to to ask my students um to deliver a, a, a text yeah. on the implications of video games in their lives using uh, autoethnography as a technique so it it moves me on to methodology and so far i have a sample of 110 students mainly they are students from degree in sociology and social work back at the university of salamanca uh, of the sample so far 32 are men and 78 are women um we already know about this a gap on the application for different types of degrees um, no limits have been established for the realization of the work beyond the norms and typologies of what an autoethnography should be. In order to focus the work, they have been provided with a set of questions as a guideline for the topics they could deal with or take into account. And they were informed that their work would be anonymized for further analysis and the uh, results, which would be shared with them once the work is finished. So at the at the end of every semester that I've been dealing uh, with this work with students, I show them the results as I'm going to show you to show you the results right now. And also we have like a great debate about ethics and the ontology behind it and several stuff about the technique. So. As you can see here in the figure one, we have like this sentimental analysis. I just drop all the text into a software and just started categorizing and and processing all the data. Um, and what I found in the first instance is that uh, most of the young students or university students, they have positive feelings or positive vibes about video games. Meanwhile, few of them as negative um, feelings about video games and we have like a big stake of people that has no opinion or either they have a positive and negative opinion or uh, they are divided they don't know the that much or they don't know show um strictly negative or positive uh feelings to video games it drives uh, me to this uh thematic analysis thematic analysis so i just decided to still categorizing information and giving it uh, a, a note so as you can see here the big difference that i found is like the big gender gap between men and women because men uh in all of the tactics texts that they delivered me delivered to me they taught video games as something that is deep into their uh 
personal personal lives. Meanwhile, just uh, 43% of the girls talk about video games as a thing in their lives. For example, girls, they refer to gadgets. It's like this purple spot. They refer to gadgets. 64.1% male do not uh, do not do not talk about gadgets. They talk about playing. They talk about video games. They talk how much they are important in their lives. Meanwhile, girls are split. They even make references to video games or to gadgets or to these moments, these nostalgic moments. But guys, they just are pretty much straightforward. And they talk about video games as something that is part of their lives so here you can see like the big um, gender differences there is among students and i have to note that as the research progress and i will proceed um, collecting data it will be possible to shed light on the type of video game and platform used as well the groups to which they refer when they talk about video games um, uh, whether they are like uh, direct family members like the primary group or their friends secondary group uh, and in the first analysis i've been dealing these last months uh show that men play more arcade and action games while women play mobile and simulation game likewise men seems to refer more to their friends uh, compared to the girls that they they, they they refer more to this direct family mainly like this big brother or the cousin so differences are there i am struggling with them and as final notes um applying this self-perception theory to the field of video games implies that student self-perception significantly affects the way they share themselves inside and outside the social educational context as well the feelings and experiences they live so uh, and taking into account these preliminary results um, it's not so important to analyze video games from a pessimistic perspective that relates them to practices related to addiction and behavioral disorder but rather to analyze how video games are intrinsically integrated into the lives of all young people and that's it thank you if you need anything else you have my email see you